everybody we're telling your followers that you started a live video i don't know if i'm live right now hello hey marissa hello sam hi everybody who's this ah oh, prep agent here we go okay joe send me a request keo's here go live with here we go Let's see if this works keo's here hey hi hi joe how are you good how are you this is so I'm, awkward i've never done this before I, this is incredible really well yeah. i watched all your videos like i feel like i know you you don't know we by the way guys we've never met so so hi i think we have because i've seen your dancing stuff so you've seen oh, my cool. stuff i've seen yours so i think we're like best friends now Oh my god, sorry, Michael Waltrip is here. Hey, Mikey. Sorry, I've just seen all the people that are like coming up on the screen. But yeah, I feel like I know you so well. Um, I started my kind of, I love real estate and I kind of I kind of started my uh, journey learning like a year and a half ago, maybe even two years ago. And you came up, I could always, I would always search on um, on YouTube and you came up like on everything, everything. So the I had to, like, the hat did, right? The, the hat, hat did. And I was like, a, where are you from, by the way? Where are you from? I'm from England. I, I figured. I figured. That didn't sound yeah. like a Russian accent. No, um, I know. There's a lot of Russians on the show, but not me. Where do you think I'm from? I don't know. My I, accent. You just have like an East Coast vibe. I do. And... Born and raised in the suburbs of New York. Yes. Yeah. See, it's not like abrasive, but like you have an East Coast vibe. And, and I like East Coast uh, accents. But like I just the hat, I was like... You seem like a you seem like a good East Coaster to me. Thank they you. They have a good vibe about him. It is. It is. Vibe is here. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? When are you taking the test? I'm taking my test tomorrow. Freaking uh, out? No, I'm taking it at eight thirty tomorrow morning. Not no, like kind of, but not really. I'm not like freaking out. But um, I've taken like two different crash crash courses, and both of them have taught like something different. You know, like oh, this will be on your test or. So There'll they be no... go with the stuff that they both say. So that's why I did two, because I didn't want to do the same one twice, and I just wanted to get as much info as possible. The one I did this weekend was really heavy into finance, which okay. I kind of feel like is maybe a little less uh, going to be on the test. It's going to be on the test, but maybe to a lesser percentage. And then the other one I did that was really heavy into like, uh, like practice and contracts and stuff like that. Okay. Someone saying you got this. Oh, that's cool. Thanks. I you don't totally know got if this. I've got this, quite honestly. But Have you we'll memorized see. your vocabulary? Yeah. Your vocabulary okay. ones I, I did like really early on. And I. So, and so I, your test is tomorrow, right? Yeah. So let's not overthink this. Okay. Like, like um, you're a performer, right? Yeah. It's and okay. Dance, you can, we can you, overthink it. I'll overthink no, no, no. It I'm just saying, like, like, when you do your performances, your, your dance uh -huh. stuff. I mean, uh -huh. if it's like the next morning, are you going to say, okay, relearn everything now? I mean, honestly, what do yeah. you do? I don't even know. I haven't seen you prepare for your performances, but well, I'm going to guess it's something to the effect of you've done what you're going to do. You learned yeah. what you're going to learn. Now it's time to relax and just benefit from all the work you put in. Am I right very, or am very, I right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's exactly it. I there's mean, going to be so, last, last minute. Well, yeah, there's last Right, minute, right. If you but... see somebody like before like a dance recital or performance and they're sitting there like learning everything, going through their steps and they're sweating, you're like, they're screwed, screwed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Screwed. I, I've seen people, I've danced with those people and I've had to drag them through it and they, the, the steps just like completely lose them. Because on you're our right. show, we dance with people who are celebrities that don't know how to dance. And I, I, every, other at least every other partner i've had has, has always had a problem with um, nerves and i can feel it because i can feel their nerves and i'm standing next to them going i'm a professional dancer and i'm freaking out because my partner gets on the floor and and everything goes but i feel like with this real estate like um i feel like i pretty much memorized as much as i could where i have issues with is uh, the details like the difference between void and unenforceable to me like i know void is like a legal like it doesn't have a legal face to it do you but... know the four essentials of a valid contract yeah what are they so now you put Putting me on the spot, spot. you is... said you knew you said you knew yeah mutual consent like offer and acceptance 
lawful object. Uh, don't tell me. Okay. Uh, is consideration good? And so what does it begin with? The next one. I know written is for only specific ones, but okay, okay. Can it? Could do they have to Cap be a uh, cap uh, capacity cap like the capability cap of the party? There you go, people. capable parties. Good, excellent. Okay. So you just said writing, all right, is not mm -hmm. an essential valid contract, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So if a contract is not in writing, is that void? No. It depends, right? Right. If it's a lease that's not in writing for longer than a year, then okay. yeah. Okay. So void. then, if a contract needs to be in writing, but it's not in writing, that would be mm -hmm. unenforceable. Okay. It's not okay. void because right. writing, as you said, is not one of the four essentials of a valid contract. Ta da. Right. Remember, so void. Said, Go on. Void is lacking one of those four essentials. Ah. And enforceable is just. It has those four essentials. But for some reason, it's not enforceable in a court of law. For example, if it needs to be in writing, it's not in writing. And so, so if, you, if someone makes you sign a contract under duress and stress or threat, that voidable. would be voidable. Because it's, cause you could still, even though you're under threat, you could still decide to go along with it. And that might exactly, be exactly. along. Exactly, like, exactly. Like, if I'm like, Emma, buy this house, buy this house. You're like, no, Joe. I'm like, buy it, buy it, buy it. And I'm like threatening you. You're like, all right, psycho, I'll buy it. And I'm like, good, you know? And then later you go to the judge. You're like, you know what? I didn't want to buy the house. And Joe's an effing psycho, all right? He pushed me to it. Then you said, Emma, did you have a chance to look at the house? You're like, well, wait, actually the house is pretty actually, nice. Actually, I kind of want to buy it. You know right. what? Joe's kind of crazy. His methods were a little horrible, but it's kind of a nice house. I kind of like it. I'm into it, mm -hmm. you know? So that's why it's voidable because you have the offer, the excuse me, the option to go through with it. Okay. Okay. So you know, me being sense. like a psycho shouldn't take away your right to go through with that house. Okay. So voidable can be voided by one party. Yes. In our and situation, for... you. Me. Because you're being and... under duress and I'm the crazy one pressuring you. Okay. Okay. That makes so much more sense. Okay. So void doesn't have one of the four essentials of contract. Right. Voidable is but what we just spoke about. Right. Unenforceable is when it has all of those elements of the contract, but uh, for, for whatever reason, it's uh, not. It can't, you have the it right can, to, it, it can't be enforced. It can't be enforced. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. All right. So here's the other way to remember that. These, this element of void and valid, which you're talking about, applies to every single contract. All right. Uh-huh. What may be enforceable to one contract may be unenforceable to another. So mm -hmm. those do not apply to every contract. Okay. That right? Makes sense. So you have like things in writing and statute of limitations, things that mm -hmm. vary upon contracts. Mm -hmm. And that's where that unenforceable comes in. Okay. Does that make sense? That does. It makes sense. Okay. Can I help you? Yeah, you did. You helped me with, I, I guess I should, I should have done a better job of remembering the four. Um, um, Gotta know that. Gotta know that. That's okay. a big one. Okay. Um, yeah. What else? So uh, the the tax, the Ugh, tax. Is yeah, gross. the taxing when it comes to like depreci calculating depreciation, not so much calculating it, but like the 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 tax rules with um, primary residences and uh, like rental incomes and stuff like that. What you can deduct, like for a, a rental you can deduct cap capital gains or you can add capital gains to the um, cost basis to get the right. adjusted basis. I, don't overthink it. Okay. The cost basis is just the price as the original price of the property. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like what it costs mm -hmm. to get it. And then when you transfer properties, like you buy a new one, the cost base, the old property becomes the cost base of the new property. That basis, mm -hmm. and they're talking about that 1031 to yeah. tax deferred exchange, you know, uh -huh. Sounds yeah. like you studied. So don't get too caught up into like these minutiae details, especially not, okay. you know, and that's super hard stuff. You got to make sure you know the basic stuff super well at this point. Okay. You don't want to okay. spend all night focusing on like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a dance example, and all I know is salsa. 
No, it's like okay. I said, don't focus on like a pirouette. You know, <laughs> I just I just know salsa because I spend time in Latin America a lot. And yeah. Oh, nice. That's all Let's I got. Go. Colombia. Oh, how nice! I'd love and to go. In Panama. There. Yeah. They have Colombian salsa, which is insane. It's like it's like salsa on speed. Sorry, guys. I danced in Cali, Colombia, the really? salsa capital of the world. Oh wow, that's amazing! Did you see a lot of like? Did you see any performances or anything? Of course, I did. Wow, they dance yes. there everywhere. I know they rock out, and I just kind of like hold my hand and do jazz hands. That's what I learned about dancing. Not to get off topic, but if you don't know what you're doing, hold somebody's hand, smile, and do jazz hands. And, and, jazz and, hands. and everybody's everybody's having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. It's so true. Is yeah, that true? You're like, the professional dancer. If you uh, smile, well, hold well, you hands. Know, we, have these, we have these things in the show called walk downs, and you basically just have to make your celebrity like, uh, you know, it's like the hello of the show. Like, hey, here's the episode number two or whatever. And so that, that's when you like first appear. And it is just like kind of like a just be positive and happy and just like look like you're having fun, which we are. Jazz hands. So jazz, jazz hands. hands comes in, especially my type of part. Oh, is that like jazz, jazz hands? hands? I wasn't even doing the jazz hands time. correctly. <laughs> no, this is jazz hands. Oh, I thought this was jazz hands. <laughs> no, <laughs> I would say that, well, this is like John Travolta or like this was, I don't know, hitchhiking. I've, so I've, this is nothing? This is Did Joe. I just make this, this up? Joe. Did I just? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. This is like <laughs> single cute. ladies. All the single ladies. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. So I'll just stick to what I do with the real estate exam and I'll just leave that alone. But I was having fun when I was doing it, right? Isn't that yeah. the whole crux of That's it? That's the game. That's the aim of the game. Now, were you sober when you were doing it or? Totally. Totally. hundred percent. Yeah. I was trying to focus. <laughs> I am the prize, you know? Oh yeah. So okay, what's your so next question? I don't know. And then I've got my, I've got my, cause I use prepagent.com yeah. to um, prep with. And honestly, it was wicked. It was so good. I did all of the, let me go into my account. I mean, I'm on my account. I did all of the practice, you know, like the practice and disclosures, laws of agency, contracts, transfer of property. I did all of them multiple times and then did the master exam today, twice. And I feel okay. like really solid about it. The one where I got the less, I'm going to pick the one where I've got the least. And that was- What'd you get on the master exam? 94%. You're golden. Um, Stop freaking out. No, I'm not freaking out. 72% I got for transfer of property a month ago. Let me click on that. Oh no, actually. And then valuation. So let me just do one. Let's do- All these people commenting. This is so new to me. So yeah, these are awesome, wonderful people. If you've got Hello. any questions for Joe, he's the best. Okay, so questions to review I've put in here. How do I, hang on, let me just see, how do I navigate this? It's not a real puppy from a disease special. Can I get a copy of this afterwards? I just feel like this is so great. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, you know what I don't know how to say? do it. When but... you quit it, I think it gives you, just don't like quit out too quick. Uh, Legacy's on here, hey Legacy. Don't quit out too quick, it shall give you a, a some kind of option. I thought it only happens on your end because you, you started this. I can also do that too, so I'll make sure I, uh, I mean, I guess I, I haven't done this too many times, but I'll make sure I'll try to like save it or post it somewhere. I'll try to. Does like, anybody in the there. chat have knowledge about that? Anybody in the chat? If yeah, if somebody has knowledge in the chat, just like let us know. Okay. 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 I'm just gonna click one. Oh no, I got that. Well, it's the court order. No, I know that one. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Standard uh, insurance policies, right? So standard title insurance policy insures against. So I'm looking at, it says claims of a person in possession of the property, an easement by prescription, which I don't think it is. So I'm going to do that. Losses sustained by improved property only. A recorded deed in the chain of title that was not properly delivered. So it's the last one, isn't it? Because the delivery. It, what well, do you I think? Know. Click it. Yeah, it's the last one. So delivery and fraud is what this standard policy covers. And it doesn't have a survey. Yeah, and the standard one's the one that goes with most property. That's why it's called standard. It's the most common one. That's one you're gonna get when you buy a house. Okay, okay. And then the extended policy is not the same as the ATLA. No, extended Ext policy is one that most lenders use. Lenders use? Yeah, extended, you're talking about, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to give you like keywords, like because you test tomorrow, I don't want to get into these long in depth explanations. I'm trying to get real short, concise things. Um, because you don't want to get too murky into the woods the night before okay. your exam, you know, okay. and overthink it. I mean, this is not the time for that. I mean, let's just, you know, say this awful sentence of pass now, learn later, you mm -hmm. know? Okay. This is one yeah, of the I few feel times. like that's, that's legit the case. There yeah, yeah. Children don't listen, but learning's lame, like... passing's good. Pass, <laughs> learning yeah. lame, yeah, yeah, passing yeah. good. Woo! <laughs> and I feel like a lot of this, it's true. It's true. I just need to pass because a lot of this is actually like, kind of not reflective on, on actual practice of real estate. Obviously, you need to know all of this, but uh, I, I think some a lot is, of this some isn't. Little, literally only sink in when I do a transaction. Right. I mean, there'll be a lot. A lot of it is stuff that you hope never comes up mm -hmm. when you practice real estate, such mm -hmm. as fair housing laws, like all that stuff you learn about blockbusting, panic yeah. peddling. You have mm -hmm. to know it, and I hope it never comes up in your career, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, right, right, right. Some of this stuff is more common. Like, right. it looks pretty bad if you're a real estate agent, and there's a property that's about an acre, and the mm -hmm. person asks you, how big is an acre? And you're like, I don't know. You know, when oh, it was, yeah. like, in your exam, you should know 40,560 square feet. That's mm -hmm. pretty basic. So mm -hmm. people say it's not real what you're actually going to do. I always bring up that. Like, well, you should right. know how big an acre is, you know? Right. The exclusive right to sell a listing, that's the right. listing you're going to use, and you mm -hmm. should know what it is. They're going to ask you about what happens if you sign two exclusive listings at the same time. That's very real life. On the bottom of the listing contract, it actually states that when you actually practice, and you're giving me that look like you don't know. So I'll yeah, explain what, to you. What, it's wait, like, yeah, yeah. You'll owe two commissions. So, say, say it again. When you sign two exclusive right to sell on one property? No, two properties. Right, 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 right. So I'm selling a house. Right. I sign an exclusive listing with you, which means mm -hmm. you're the only agent, right? Yeah. I decide I don't like you. And right. I just sign with somebody else. Like Another a exclusive week later. listing. But what does an exclusive right to sell listing say? Well, the exclusive what is right it? to sell. It's the exclusive right to sell is you're the only person that could get a commission, even out of, you know, the seller or any agent. Basically, if a buyer comes, you get paid no matter what. Yeah. So when I sign two of them, I'm going to owe two because I told both agents you're getting paid no matter what. Oh, okay. So, and that's got no reflection on, I'm not going to split it. You're just going to have to pay two. Right. And that right. never happens because on that listing, and this isn't on your exam, this is real life. It actually yeah. says that on the uh, bottom of the listing, it says warning. If you signed with somebody else, you know, yeah, um, you have to pay and, too. Right. And also real life, good luck in enforcing that as an agent, you know, have fun with that, you know, but technically and legally you could, you it's know, it's just a pain in the ass to do it. Well, no, but no, I mean, the seller would have to be pretty stupid to do yeah, that. Yeah, right, 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 right. But okay. that is the law. For your exam, that is the law, though. Because okay. if they want to hire multiple agents, what type of listing should they be signing? Oh, an open. There you go. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so that's when I'm nervous. Say, How can they... I know. I, like, I don't know why I'm nervous. Like, it's because I'm speaking to someone specifically and you're asking me questions. And I'm like, you better know this, Emma. You better know this. Better. You totally so better. You weird. totally better. Told yeah. better, it's gonna be so crazy, you know. It's, it's so, so weird. crazy. I'll pay for it, be like, yeah, fine, but um, yeah, get. And if you fail, it. everybody's gonna think you're stupid. No, just kidding. It's true. Like I thought about. No, it's like, not true. It's well, not no, true. Well, no, but all. I did think about saying. I'm I totally messing about with you. Putting on there, like putting on social media. Hey, I'm gonna do my test tomorrow. If I fail, I fail, or whatever. But um, you know, I I kind of just want to make myself accountable and just be like. Hey, it, if I fail, so what? I'm just going to reapply again. But I'm exactly. thinking good thoughts anyway. People so. fail all the time and still go on to right. successful careers because the right. exam is not your goal. The exam is a step towards the goal. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, so your I've goal is to be selling a home or do whatever you want to do. Ex you do. Exactly, exactly. Well, so I do have some other uh, questions. Um, just to go over. Vendor, Vendi trustor trustee beneficiary and all that vendor and vendee is for a land contract sale a sales contract like a land contract right vendor just means a seller like did, haven't you ever gone to the to like the um 
where is he? Farmer's market? Right. In the Grove? Yeah. What do you right. call those people? Vendors. Yeah, vendor. So so in a in a situation where it's like is it the is it a wait. Is it a Calvet loan that does a land contract? You know, like a land contract? Yes, yes, yes. I know a land They're contract. vendor and vendee. But I'm, do you know I'm, your O-R-E rule? Yeah, I Let do. But I get confused when it. it comes to mortgage. Okay, so O-R is the give or, and I only say that because that's the way you know my song? Say it. Give or, own or. Uh, okay, I'm going to say uh, this and you have to repeat it. Okay. And it's going to sound ridiculous, but, Fine. you know whatever you I'm know i'm singing it's gonna sound ridiculous anyway so yeah i saw your most recent instagram post you're not against looking ridiculous right? <laughs> no 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 not at all yeah <laughs> yeah um okay so lessor vendor option or the give or the proper tour for your pleasure let's see vendi trustee give me property makes me happy e e receives o r is the give or you just gotta remember that the whole did thing did you remember not the whole thing. Just remember, O R give or E E receives. O R give or E E receives. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. When Santa mm -hmm. Claus gives you gives you a gift, or when you were little, mm -hmm. is Santa Claus the gift or or the gift D? The gift or. And the and the kid was the gift D, right? Gift D. Yes, I do. I do understand that concept. What What got me was like mortgager and mortgagee. The mortgage Which door. Which slide bring it up? Ruby. Sorry, that's my dog. Ruby, what is okay. it? Shush. Sorry. What confused me is that the mortgage or is the mortgage or is the borrower, right? But that's yes. because it is. It is, right? Yes. But but to me that seems backwards because you're like, well, uh, the lender should. You're lender breaking my heart. Is, no, but I it's understand not why, because the mortgagor is giving the promissory note, and so I, and that's why that's the only reason why I understand why. But to, but then when you have like the and then the trust store is obviously I get it. The trust store also promissory note. They're the but then a vendor vendee I think is the opposite. Oh, I know why because it's a land no. Yeah, it can't be the opposite. It's a suffix. This isn't real estate stuff. This is you know the king's English. Right. This is you yeah. Know, but who's the vendor or vendee? The vendor. The vendor is, is the, selling the property. The vendee is buying the property. But I think the vendee is the borrower in a land contract, and I think I th and I know why. I think I remember why because two it's different the, things. Two two separate concepts. Oh. Okay, because one has to do with the land. They're receiving the land. Okay. The other has right. to do with getting a loan. Just because right. you get land doesn't mean you need to get a loan. You can pay cash for it. Right. I mean, you're, 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 you're connecting them, but they're not always connected. Like, just because I receive land doesn't mean I got a loan. Right. Right. Okay, so a Vendi is the borrower. They're Vendi, no, Vendi is somebody who purchased property, period. It is not connected to being a borrower. Oh, Okay. Okay. Usually okay. it is. Like obviously, oh, I, usually oh, no. I see what you're saying. Usually it's the same person, but it, technically it's it, they're two separate concepts. Mm hmm Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Then the then they receive customer. property. Yeah. Period. Period. Right. Don't connect to anything else. Stop next conversation. Mm -hmm. There's a borrower who may have had to borrow money in order to purchase that property, but that's a whole other thing. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a true different... store. Or, or a mortgage. Yeah, order. because they give that promise. You know, as you said, and the reason I sang that song is so you don't overthink these scenarios and just stick to the core of it that OR is giving and EE receives. Is a Ven, okay, is a Vendee in the same category as a lessee and a grantee? They're all receiving stuff. Okay, so I get it now. I get it. I understand what it is. I mean, so you understand one, they're all EEs. Yeah. Vendee's receiving land. Grantee's receiving a deed. Alessi's receiving a lease. The kid at Christmas is receiving a gift. Mm -hmm. You know, it, they're receiving. just... Receiving. It's, but it's all the EE. -E. It's the suffix, you know, the O-R-E-E -E suffix, which insinuates the giving and receiving. Okay. And then, and then the only two that really has anything to do with the money is... Which, is, which confused me, to be honest. When, when you've got, like, grantor, like, trustor and grantor, you put... For me, 
I thought, oh, I'm going to put them in the same category and they've got nothing to do with each other. So that's what confused me. So now I'm sort of in my head, like funneling over. Okay, People this is that category. put them together because very often the same person can be more than one thing, right? Right. Like right. when you buy a property, you're a grantee, you're a vendor, you know, you're a mortgagor. But in understanding them, you got to separate them in your head. Okay. They're just so one person sense. doing multiple things. Yeah. You know? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they're, they're different. That makes so much sense to me. Okay. Because I was putting that in the wrong category. Okay. So what You're else? trying what? to say, like, if they're this, then they must be that. I would, and and yeah, that's I'd, why I want to, you know. I just had, there was a couple of things that I had that uh, I, I, my brain would automatically bundle them in the same category. And then I had to, un, I, I would come up with issues and then I'd have to unlearn that rule that I made myself. If you're a dancer, you must be fashionable. Usually the case, but not always necessary. Some say. It, I have it doesn't... very questionable taste in clothes sometimes. Like, I don't know what sort of 90s rocking I'm doing right now. But... Oh, stop it. You're very fashion forward. <laughs> you're, you're being like uh, progressively humble. You're yeah. Like, oh, I'm... look at me. This is all an accident. <laughs> oh, oh did, did, did this sweater just happen? Oops, yeah, give me a break. Just... <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That, that is fashionable at its best. Okay. Love so, that. But the point I'm trying to make is the two are not necessarily connected, even though the same person is very often both. Okay. Phew. That makes a huge difference. Does that difference. make sense? That's what I said. Like, dancers are fashionable, but not always. And you don't have to be fashionable to be a dancer. You don't have to be a vendee in order to be a mortgagor. They often very are the same person because there is a connection, but it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That makes so much sense to me now. Okay, and I won't bore you, but I'll maybe just ask one more thing. And I okay, have okay. stuff here. Okay. Um, Somebody said, dancing for events, W2S, and what are you talking about? Real estate. We're talking about real estate. Maybe I should yeah, have yeah. said that. I mean, we did say that. Okay. Um, Got a lot of dance people in this chat. Mm-hmm. Duh, Love I guess. Sorry, duh. <laughs> it's like, I guess I get some big duh. Yeah. <laughs> I, think that, I think that's it. I think that's it. That I mean, it's obviously not it. Oh, the whole acknowledge thing. Um, get a notary. Yep, yep. Yeah, acknowledge notary. An attachment is is basically like, um, it's almost like a, not a Liz Pendence, right? But it's an attachment that a, that a court has placed on a house um so that you yeah. can't sell it it's like a it's an attachment good that something Excellent. is pending yep you can't sell it you can't transfer it there's a court order pending type thing there you go okay mm -hmm. um yeah i think that that's it all right yeah i really think that that's it and now i'm just going to uh, just make sure I get a good night's sleep and um, maybe flick through some last minute things. But yeah, your site, this whole thing, this prep agent on my iPad was so helpful. That's your iPad? That thing's huge. Yeah. It's like a Tesla screen. It's That's like an the, iPad? I, I like all, I like all like, yeah. When it came out, it was like, that looks like a laptop without a keyboard. So I needed to get it. But the, the whole prep agent was really helpful. I used that the most the practice exams, the prep videos. Um, and then honestly, I didn't use the flashcards, but I, uh, oh, remainder man. Oh, I get that. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty much all. All right. All well, you're going to do amazing. Do you have any? I'm sure. Do okay. I have any what? Thanks. I was going to say like last minute advice. I feel like most people I would, but I feel like with your background, there's nothing I could tell you, you don't already know. You know, mm -hmm. you know about big events, big moments and relaxing and seeing the goal and all that, and not putting unnecessary pressure. Like there's nothing I could, you know, say that you probably early, don't already know. If I'm done early, do I sit there and like go through it or no, just get up. You but sit there and like totally judge people with like evil looks. Just look at it and be like, don't sweat, don't sweat. Wrong. Did right. you get and, that? And, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta do like the Chevy Chase spies, spies like us. Have you ever seen that? You know? No. Oh my gosh! I think you're younger than me. That's why. Where you well, gotta watch that English, scene. Everybody English in the chat too. who's seen 
No, it's a great movie where, where he says like, rrr, 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 24, B. <laughs> just to start rattling that off to other people. I know that I will look around and see like, oh, how confident does everybody look? Apparently, you, you're not supposed to open up your... Um, your uh what is it when you finish they give you the the results like immediately like straight away right. right so you're not allowed to open that up until you go into the elevator go downstairs walk a little bit and then open it up because yeah because they don't want you open it up and for everybody and be like loser suck it yeah, loser yes. winner loser they crushed it. Yeah, right? <laughs> right 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 they don't want you doing that but you're gonna be great you clearly have been studying a lot you've prepared yeah, as much right. as somebody could prepare there's no reason for you not to pass. You're just going to relax, do your med. What do you do before a big dance thing? What do you do? Um, you're, you're, it's the morning of. Your things... I get coffee. Okay, I stretch. I need to listen to music. Okay. Like it's an hour and a half away and, and it's at 8.30 and I've got to get there at like 7.30. So I'll probably start leaving at like 6.00. Or even before, so I and I know I'll just put music on, and I love that. That's like my meditation. I might even right, do you that relax. Like after this. Yeah, you make I go. you make sure you're not fighting traffic in the last minute. You get there early, so parking's yeah. fine. You yeah, know, coffee. It's the same. It's deal. my dad's you birthday know. tomorrow, so I'll probably Facetime him at some point when I get there. Of course, and you'll have good news for him. You and know. be like, "Hey, Dad, happy birthday! I passed my test." And or, if you want, we could do a follow-up thing tomorrow. Yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, because I'd like that. I'll let you know like what they asked, what I had difficulty with. Because I've, I've, I'll remember stuff. Like I'll remember what the questions were. At least a few of them, the ones that stood out. Anyway. But yeah, let's do it again. All right, sounds All right. good. It is a pleasure to meet you. You're a it's treat. I appreciate you. you taking the time. And you know, no, you're I appreciate do great. you. Thank you so much. I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow and let you know. Okay. Thanks All so right. much. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll try to save uh, this. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye.